What is going on guys, Casual Savage in this video I'm sharing to render videos in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Okay, so this video is actually a requested video. Someone on Skype asked me to make a video on this, so I'll go ahead and make it for them. So you want to go and get your clip. Mine's here, Call of Duty Ghost Multiplayer Reveal. And you want to make sure, obviously, your Sony Vegas is open. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this into Sony Vegas. So another little basic thing, any video you drag on, so this could be gameplay, you want to right click it, click properties, then you want to click disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Then just go ahead and click OK. So the next thing, while you're looking through your video, you might have the quality low so it actually comes out smooth. But after you've done that, you want to go back up here, click best and click full. So we get on to the next part. You want to double click here. Now you'll see this two yellow dots here. Now, this decides how far you want to render. So you can render, render 8 seconds of the video, but obviously you want to render all of the video, so you just drag it to the end of the video. Click off that. Now you're ready to render. What you want to do is just click File, Render As. Now, well, first, choose where you want to save it. Mine's always on my desktop. Then choose what you want to save it as so I just call this a uh, test now when you first get yours you'll see loads of stuff like this and you'll be wondering how do I render it now it's actually really simple you want to go down to the bottom or near the bottom and you want to look for WMV Windows Media Video V11 so you want to click that little arrow next to it scroll down and here we go if you want it in 720p, which I recommend because it is faster and it is still good HD video, then use 6 megabytes per second HD 720p 30 frames per second. But of course, you can always go for a better option, which is 1080p, and if you do that, then I'd say go for 8 megabytes per second HD 1080p 30 frames per second. Now, for all my videos, I always render them with this. This is my best one. I always use that, and you can tell that video is always clear and it does look good so it's up to you whether you want to do 1080p the main reason why I don't do 1080p is because my laptop is slow and it does not render that fast but yeah so you go and click that now when you hear it says render option now this is what the yellow dots were for here as you can see and the little black bar in the middle of them you want to make sure you check this render loop region only so it's them um, yellow dots again. Now you are finally ready to render. You make sure you, none of them are checked, and that's not checked. Just go ahead and click render. Now another thing I would recommend before rendering is to click file, save as, and just save the file. So this is the project. The main reason for this is because if your Sony Vegas crashes while you are rendering, which is sometimes happens for no reason, then you're going to lose all your data that you've edited and I know you don't want that. So it's a good and safe thing to uh, save the project before you do render the video. So that is how you render the video and I'll just show you now. So let's just say Sony Vegas stopped working while I was rendering. You've got this here, so you can just go ahead and double click it. And you can see Sony Vegas is going to open back up. Now this is also good if you did make a video and you missed a step or something and you've already rendered it. You can go straight back to it and you can just go straight back to the editing. So then Sony Vegas will begin to open up. It all depends on how big the file actually was. So... There you go, opened it back up and you can see you've got everything still there. And yes, yeah, so just remember them few little steps. Once you get on, you right click the video, click properties, click disable for example, and maintain aspect ratio unchecked. Then make sure you go to this, click uh, this button here, click best, then full. Next step, 
double click over this, highlight the region you want to render, which is probably going to be the whole clip, so to the end of it and from the start of it. Then you right or click file, you save the project first before going any further, just in case anything goes wrong and your computer crashes or something. So after that, you go ahead and click render as. You choose where you want to save the file. You choose what you want to name it. Then you will scroll down to WMV, Windows Media Video V11. Click the arrow and then you can either choose 720p or 1080p. 8 megabytes per second HD 1080 30 frames per second video or 6 megabytes per second HD 720p 30 frames per second video. Now I'm not saying you can't use the other ones here but I would recommend these ones. So then you want to make sure this is also checked. They are unchecked and that's unchecked. Then you go ahead and click render. And then this will happen. And yeah, once you're done, this box will still be here. It will be 100% and there'll be a close button here. Of course, if you just click this, then once the rendering is done, the box will just go and your file will have been rendered. But yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. I hope you find this video useful and I'm going to be doing many more tutorials on Sony Vegas. So I'm getting more advanced soon. And yeah, please subscribe, rate, and peace.